My name is Justin. And I'm Leva. Today I am reviewing the Nintendo Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers. Now this is the original Nintendo Game & Watch system, even before the Nintendo Game Console. Um, and these originally only had the Game & Watch ball, but this one was built in with Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 2, The Lost Levels. Now, I'm, first we're going to check out Super Mario Brothers. I'm going to play the first level of this to show you a sneak peek. Most, most everybody has probably seen this, though. This is the one that they show on everything. Now, there are three things that I wish that this thing did do then, didn't do. Yeah. One is go back. As you notice, I can't go back. Second of all, they only give you three lives at the beginning. Yeah. So, it's like, you can't do much. And they, it's like, they don't... It's not commonly spread throughout that you can get another lie. So that's another thing. And then also, you can't save. So when you die, you go back to level 1-1. One, one, and sometimes you'll go forward maybe to world 2 yeah. or 3. And then there's, there's different kinds of levels. But I'm going to go to... I'm gonna, let's check out Super Mario Brothers 2, The it Lost Levels. It took me to World 2 before on that one. Very sweet. Okay. Now, this is a bit more challenging, and it's got a bit different of a landscape, but other, and maybe some of the power-ups look different. But mainly, it's got the same, it's the same thing. The same game design. Mm -hmm. And that's a star, by the way. Um, so, um, there are, a lot of the power-ups in this game are more hidden. So you gotta think about that. And what I like about these, um, these games is that they didn't change them at all. They're exactly the same as they were originally in 1985 and 1986. Ooh, boy, that's old. Which 1985 is when Super Mario Brothers, um, the original was released. And 1986 is when The Lost Levels was released. So I had just finished World 1-1 of the Lo Super Mario Brothers 2 Lost Levels. And now I'm going to go, we'll check out the last game, Game of Watch Ball. It's like it always has, but it's starring Mario. And you kind of, it's basically juggling. You catch all the balls. It gets faster. gets it's more easy. challenging. It's easy. It's pretty easy. There's and you game, can mark, game B. You can mark game a high B. score. Game B is three balls. Game A is um, two balls. So, and there's also a built-in clock on here. So, and it's got 35 little touches to discover. Now, unfortunately, you can't control it, but you can watch Mario race around the time. little time thing. And he can pick up power-ups, defeat enemies, and every hour, Yoshi's come and knock out the letters. So... And he knocks out the letters. And he knocks out the letters every minute. So, that's what this does, and... This is very, this thing is, you can't find Game & Watch anywhere else. So, this is like, you know, it's really not anything common or anything that's going to be seen that much. So, and, and it's limited production, so be sure to get yours. It's 50 bucks. You can get it at Target, Best Buy, 
Well, that's where you can get it for 50 bucks. Everywhere else it's like 100 bucks and it's, it's, or you can't find it. So, and I think it's at GameStop, but I haven't checked that out. So thank you for watching and be sure to click the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And thank you for watching.